Hey, what's going on to all of my uh, Scorpios? So let's get into it. Let's get into it. So. All right. So a video is coming out about how spirituality can actually help be applied to your life. A lot of times people don't necessarily know how, but you have the uh, emperor. You have. The Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Justice, the Devil, the Nine of Cups, Knight of Cups, Hermit, Seven of Swords, the High Priestess. Okay, so this is for the yearly overview, just in case if you didn't know, right? For 2023. So the Emperor, Seven of Pentacles, Four of Wands. This is a situation for you where the emperor is a matter of you having to make a very strong, powerful decision as to how your time is going to be for the year. Um, I just see you needing to kind of excommunicate and cut off anybody that's trying to be wasting your time because you Scorpios may be tolerating just a little bit too much. You know what I mean? Um, you have to know effectively how to cut people off, how to disassociate yourself from others. And you have to know what to watch out for so you can know if the person has value the way that you say that you want, or if the person is only coming in trying to bring destruction to you because they don't necessarily mean you well, they try to oppress you. So the Seven of Pentacles represents, again, this need for you to understand the differences between the two and that. Getting to know these people is going to be a trial and error kind of case, right? Obviously, you Scorpios are water signs. So sometimes you kind of need to kind of get your own feet wet, right? Get your own sea legs to yourselves to be able to kind of strap in and, and know what's going on from what is not, right? You need to be able to, def you need to see waters can be a little bit murky so it's saying how you need to understand what exactly a person looks like when they mean you well and what exactly a person looks like when they don't mean you well and you need to be able to know the differences okay and actually know that you should not feel remorse or compassion when you decide to cut them off and walk away because the biggest weakness to scorpio is not their intensity. The biggest weakness is their over excitement of cutting people off. And that's a good thing and a bad thing. The four of wands. The four of wands represents here making sure that the, the versatility between yourself and the other person is there. Meaning, make sure that this person is not just there to take off of your table. And that's all it is that they want to do. They're talking about their money is their money. Your money is their money. That type of stuff. Yeah, that's way out there. And you should definitely stay away from these people. You want to engage yourself with people who actually reciprocate being in a relationship with you, right? Whether it's friends, family, romance, job. You want to make sure that you're happy with your job. You want to make sure that the job pays you well. To where you want it to be. If it doesn't, then it means it ne you need you either need to change profession, or or careers, I should say, or you need to start up your own business. <laughs> the justice and the devil, right? <laughs> the justice represents ultimately whatever decision you make will be your your choice. And how your life ends up becoming will be 100% based off of you. Um, so there's a need for planning. There's a need for real strategic overview, ironically, overview of your own life. Where are you? Where are you headed? What do you want? What is your life looking like? Because if you do not have those things, and if you and if you are not very aware in the year of 2023, 
there's going to be a situation like this, the devil, where you're going to be unhappy, quite unhappy for a while. And this, and this unhappiness will go on for several months as to you're not necessarily getting what, what you want. You're not getting what you want out of life. And it will make you upset, not necessarily angry per se, but upset. And you will begin to blame yourself. Well, how it is that you begin, how you actually fix that is by paying attention to what exactly is going on. I mean, people don't necessarily take spirituality as being real, but how am I able to solve y'all problems with cards? So people who want to make it seem like spirituality can't solve any problems. And that's what we're doing over here. You, you understand what I'm saying? That's 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 that obviously shows, yeah, you reaching. You you trying to go hard, trying to create a narrative, which means that you have ulterior motives. So I can't trust you. So and, and that's the same situation here. It's it's that understanding. You see how I wrap uh neatly wrap that up? It's because it's it's that level of being vigilant, that level of understanding of if your life is is not going the way that you wanted it to, then you can change it. But you have to know the areas of where you're unhappy with and actually do yourself what? Justice and change it. Otherwise, you'll end up here. You'll end up being, you'll end up torturing your own self internally. I should have did this. I should have lived like this. Why didn't I do this? I should have did this until you actually <laughs> fix it. Because the devil card is that kick in the butt. See, the thing is that the devil card is the kick in the butt for you to actually do the things that you need to do. And you will continue to be haunted until you actually do the things that you know that you need to do. And then you have the nine of cups. Once you do what it is that you need to know, uh, do what it is that you that you know and that you need to do you cut off your fake friends you cut off your some of your family members all the people and all of the obstacles that stop you from doing the things that you internally or externally which is both because you have to internally think it in order for you to externally say it then you have to actually make a plan start take action and then the knight of cups represents the the confidence that comes with that and then you have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups represents once you have the confidence that comes with the Nine of Cups, now you move on to the Knight of Cups, which is you actually have more confidence and joy in an, an inner peace to actually approach other people and look for love, try to see what they've got going on. But you're not going to be able to be in this position yet, Scorpio, until you actually do these. See, these two cards are paramount to this reading for you. See, a lot of people mistake it. The reason why it is I'm so animated in my videos is because I do not respect or have a high level of respect for individuals who whine and complain and talk so much about how they want to change things, but they actually do nothing about it. Oh, I wish I made more money. Well, what steps are you taking towards making money? More money the way you say you want, or on at least the verge of making that. I don't know. So why are you telling me about that? Why, why are you telling other people about that? So you want a pity party is what you're looking for. And these will be grown people, regardless of whoever they are. And then when you tell them that, they get so upset. Like Facebook, how many people talk about Trayvon Martin or something like this? And it's like, okay, are you going to create some sort of class action lawsuit against the police for the way that they treat people who look like me and you? No? So this is just a Facebook post to you. And then they went ahead and proceeded to take me off of their, their friends list. That's my point. You're not really planning on doing anything. And these two cards here represents this paramount principle that if you know you should be doing what you say that you should be doing, then go and do it. Because if you don't, 
and you come out here into the real world and you start talking to people, with, especially if you start talking to real people, some people may let you get away with it and they'll be cool with it and they'll be compassionate towards that. But then when you get around real people, you know somebody is real. You know somebody is really real. You know what I mean? When they tell you directly to your face, are you changing that situation? And they're practicing what they're preaching where they're actually being active with the things that they say they want. And they're challenging you. Are you practicing what it is that you're preaching? Are you creating change? No. So get out of my face until you do. <laughs> and this is the type of principle that you Scorpios are going to be faced with. And that's okay because Scorpio represents that principle anyway. <laughs> so you're in your own wheelhouse here. So what are we talking about? And then you have the hermit, okay? So the hermit is, is um, about the sense of enlightenment that you will have gained, but it won't necessarily be towards anything externally. It'll be internally, internally to externally as to externally to internally. So you will make the change inwardly first before you ever decide to actually uh, externally do anything. Now, I will say this. If you're going to make a change internally, you have to actually apply yourself externally as well. So both of those two things have to be concurrent or running at the same time. You can't just say, oh, I've made a change internally and you've not made a change externally. That's one of the ways on how it is that you know someone who's practicing mysticism, they're really fake. It's the idea that you're talking about mysticism and all this other type of stuff, but your literal surroundings have not changed the way that you wanted it to. That's the reason why when you look around my room and things of this nature, right, as you can see, you look around my room, what is it that you see? You see a complete difference of how the room used to be. The room used to have cracks on it and stuff like this. Now it's completely plastered, paint job, as you can see. Mona Lisa painting, real oil painting. I'm so proud of that. Other things that I want to do with the room that I'm not, you know, that is, I'm going to be able to do when more money comes in, you know, creating this studio, building it, making it better and stuff like this, you know. And so you're actually seeing an external example of how my mind is, right? There's no more any kind of like, um, you know, sneakers in the background here stacked up to high. I put those away. You know what I mean? So, and then the thing is, is that the seven of swords and the high priestess now represent this being a situation for you where, yes, it will be hard work for you to actually make those big changes because they're big changes. They're not just going to come overnight. Small changes can come in a matter of seconds as to where big changes will come in a matter of months, depending on how many months, depending on how big the goal that you want to achieve happens to be. And then the high priestess represents you need to be studying. You need to become ruthless in your approach. Yes, the high, the high priestess does represent the dark side. But in, in certain instances, the, the high priestess can also represent secret uh, admirers, people who really do like you. So you, you are catching the fancy or the desire of people who see you and do like you and are interested. But this is something bigger than that. This really represents you, Scorpios, needing to understand that you need to access that ruthlessness about you. And if you're here on this channel and you're applying the things I'm telling you, I want you to know this. You are becoming a dark magician. So... I'm I'm <laughs> I'm letting all of the light magicians know that if you're over here on this channel and you're watching a lot and you're implementing a lot of the principles in these videos, I want you to know what time it is so that you don't feel played because I am most certainly not trying to uh, play anybody on this channel or pretty much anywhere else. If you are over here, you are becoming a dark magician, not because I say so, but because these are dark principles. So if you're going to continue to apply them, you need to understand you're going to become more powerful over time. What I mean when I say more powerful, you're actually going to start to get the results that you want. However, 
You're not doing it from the light side perspective. You're doing it from a darker perspective. So I'm I'm warning everybody because I don't want people getting all upset. Ugh, why did you? Oh, why did you? Well, I told you I don't deal with moralism over here. <laughs> moralism is a light side perspective. I am a dark side perspective. I don't deal with moralism over here. So if you're looking to get results and you are practicing non-moralism, you have been training yourself in dark side practices, my friend. I'm just letting everyone know what time it is so that people don't get messed up or don't get it twisted. So let's clarify the, uh, the justice. Matter of fact, we've already talked about that. Let's clarify the um, the hermit, because maybe y'all may need some more clarification on that. Clarify the hermit. The hermit again. So we're going to pull four more cards because you can't clarify a card with the same card. Five of Wands, Empress, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, right? So the Five of Wands, the Empress, the Ten of Cups, the Ten of uh, Pentacles represents this being a situation for you where the Five of Wands, right? The Five of Wands represents conflict for a resolution. Learning how to, one of the things that you will learn is learning how to let people, learning how to let the perspectives that other people have about you go because you won't care. Whatever it is that people think about you, especially if it's not true, you won't care because it's not true, right? So you'll, you'll be living your life and you'll have some family members or exes or maybe even so-called friends that you realize that you had to cut off, you had to stop hanging out with, Talk about how it is that you tripping and you think that you're better than everybody else. I've had a lot of people tell me that back in the day, too, you know, to be quite honest with you. Oh, I think I'm this. I, I think I'm that. But I'm OK. But am I hurting other people with it? No. So what do you care for? And what do you mean when you say, I think that I'm this and I think that I'm that? And why are you taking it upon yourself to be on some sort of moral high ground to try to bring me down or whatnot, uh, a notch or whatever, because you're in your own universe and I'm in mine. So what are you doing? <laughs> and then you have the, the empress, which is also true, also to try not to create relationships or with people based upon allowing them to try to come back, right? Or holding on to, more importantly, holding on to re relationships, romantic, family wise friendships acquaintances that's more that's longer than what's necessary 10 of cups knowing when it's time to let go 10 of pentacles and proceeding to walk away or proceeding to create new relationships so that's pretty much it for now comment on the video like the video subscribe to the youtube channel share the video thank you peace oh wait one more thing too trying to get this youtube channel to 3500 subscribers by the end of january I don't know, y'all. Y'all Scorpios don't show enough love for me. Y'all, y'all, I think I'm going to cry. Don't do that. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop these videos. Peace.